Hi you guys, it's me Taniqua with Tiny Tiny Crafts and I want to share with you another mini album that I put together um, yesterday. Um, this is my first time doing a, I think this mini is called a three ring binder. And um, I watched a tutorial that Laura from Following the Paper Trail did and also a tutorial that Drew from Carter My I did and I actually fell in love with the idea of making a mini album this way so I gave it a try and so the mini is called the best of times and here it is and I actually think it turned out real cute I like I say I really love doing um chipboard um mini albums versus paper bag mini albums but um I'm still playing around, playing around with creating paper bag minis but anyway let me stop rambling on the side here, I just put um, some green tool and um, different ribbon on here that I got in my stash. And I'm going to be adding more because it's kind of thin here and I actually want it to look a lot fuller. And I created another Tim Holtz Swivel Clash um, charm. And I just tried to incorporate the colors of the front of the mini here, like the oranges and the blues and pinks and purples. And you guys, if you have not tried this, this is addicting. So much fun. I mean, very easy uh, to create. Like I said, it takes less than 10 minutes um, to create these. So, on the my paper that I use for this mini is um, DCWV Flower Shower Stack, I do believe. And um, I actually just used this cover here. This is one of the pattern papers. They came in a collection, and I just added some recollection flowers to the bottom. And the best of times, this um, little chipboard um, sentiment here was in a, a big die cut stack that I picked up from Big Lots last year. Not sure who the collection was by. Um, I'll put it in the description box below. And this butterfly here is a, a Jenny Bolin butterfly sticker. And the sun and the cloud is actually a die cut piece from... I think it's called Sun Petals. No, Sun Kiss by Bo Bunny. I think that's the name of that collection there. So anyway, on the first page. Oh, and you guys, this album um, doesn't have any pictures in it. Can you believe that? <laughs> I didn't put any pictures in it. I had planned on um, taking my new camera out with the kids this weekend, taking some pictures of them, but it's been storming real bad here. Um, tornadoes and thunderstorm all weekend, so we've been in the house, so... Here's the first page, well, the cover. It just says, follow your heart, and I'll write something down here below. And I stuck this flower there. And the first page, sorry, you guys, trying to get it to where it's not a glare. It just says, remember always, and I use some Prima flowers and a Recollection um, Pearl Brad here, and a Recollections Butterfly. And the picture will go down, and it will just slide in here. If I have some paper here. The picture would just slide down in there, you guys. So that's that page. Oh, and also on every every one of my pages, I um, sold around the edges with my sewing machine. And I'm really loving that. I'm having a blast over here with my sewing machine. I'm also making some cards using that. But anyway, here's the next page. And it just says you and me. And again, you can stick your photo behind here. And these little flower buttons um, are by Sassafras Last. thought those were real cute. And this um, flower here with the little pearl center is, I think it's a paper studio brand. And I just made a photo, um, a photo spot here using my Martha Stewart punch around the page. Punch. I'm hoping to pick that up. It just seems like it's such a glare here looking at it um, through the screen of the camera here. On this page, it says Dream Big. And I used some more of those same flowers I used on another page. And I really love this paper. It is very glittery, you guys. I love the flower shower stack. And this page... I got some ribbon behind here and I just stuck this sentiment that says love, this chipboard die. I used another one of the Jenny Bowling butterflies. And these um, rolled flowers here, they are by 
uh, they're by Can Company. And it was the Can Company um, collection that came out this year for Valentine's Day. So I used those. And on this page, it just says Best Friends. And I'm going to put a, a bow here on there. And so I just used some more Prima flowers and some um, little baby flowers here in the center. And also more stitching around the edges. And on this page, it says Laugh Out Loud and more Prima Flowers and a flower from Hobby Lobby. I'm really loving the colors. Um, it's time for spring, so I, feel like, I felt like pulling out all my spring colors. And this here, uh, I'm just going to write something on here. I'm just going to use that as a, another journaling spot here. And um, we all remember these flowers that came out last year by Prima and Michaels. I feel like using those up. So I put a bunch of them there. And I used another, um, my border punch around the page to create the photo mat. And that's just the same one that was on the last page I showed you. Okay. And on the last page here, it just says beautiful day and more Prima flowers. Another Sassafras last button flower. And this is the back. And I put this piece here on the back because I'm going to write in maybe the dates or um, what's going on in the photos since there was not enough room to have journaling going on here. So that's what I'm going to use this spot for. And that's the back. And that's it, you guys. This was my mini. And it was very simple to make. Um... Again, there are actually quite a few tutorials out um, on how to create the three ring binder. But that was mine. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Have a blessed day. Bye.